Hey, it's Thomas here, and today a quick review on Dr. Tim's Waste Away Gel. If you want a super easy, no effort required way to prevent pest algae and bacterial outbreaks before they start, wipe down your glass less often, fend off that little bit of algae you've noticed before it takes over, while also removing organic sludge built up in your rock work, substrate, and even your plumbing, Dr. Tim's has got you covered. When it comes to filtration, nutrient control, and tank stability, there's one category that is often overlooked, and that is beneficial bacteria. And I know what you're thinking, once my tank's done cycling, don't I have lots of beneficial bacteria? And the answer is yes, you do. Lots of that kind of beneficial bacteria. There are lots of different kinds. Long, complex microbiological story short, some of the most productive beneficial bacteria for removing nutrients like nitrate, phosphate, and other particulate and dissolved organics are not on surfaces, but rather free swimming in the water column. Modern filtration methods like skimming and UV will pull out and deplete these bacteria. And without those beneficial bacteria chowing down on their natural food source, your tank is just going to be higher in nutrients that pest allergies and bacteria can use to thrive and just, you know, generally be grungier. Detritus buildup, mulm, that thick brown biofilm that builds up in your tubing and, and PVC plumbing. And yeah, nobody wants that. Waste Away Gel is gonna provide a slow time release of eight very specific strains of reef-friendly bacteria to restore their populations so that they can slowly break down all that waste and nutrients, out-competing pests like hair algae, film algae, cyano, and dinos. The best part is that you don't need to measure out any doses, you don't need to shut off your skimmer, you don't need to do anything beyond the regular maintenance you already do. You just drop it in a low flow area of your system and you walk away. That's it. In the box, you'll find Dr. Tim's Waste Away gel packs and suction cups. So this is dead simple. Pick the size closest to your system volume, remove the outer plastic packaging, attach the suction cup and stick it in your tank or sump out of direct flow. That's it. It'll last for up to 30 days and it'll color change to gray when it's depleted to let you know when it's time for a new one. Easy peasy. And if you have a larger system, you can just use multiple packs to get the job done. Also, rather than waiting for algae to show up, you can actually plunk one of these waste away gel packs into your new tank setup as soon as it's cycled and ready for fish. That way your tank's never actually short on these free swimming bacteria and you can avoid creating the conditions in your tank that harbor these pesky algae from day one. Like I mentioned earlier, these awesome little bacteria are gonna tidy up your sand bed, rock work, sump, pipes, filter media, and everywhere detritus and biofilm can accumulate and help keep the system looking clean and running smoothly. As someone who prefers a sand bed, I'm particularly fond of the idea that the area where the substrate meets the glass will always be clean since it tends to build up with films and detritus even with regular siphoning. And I'd rather not have to risk scratching my glass or potentially damaging my silicone by having to use a scraper, you know, below the sand where the glass is. It's just like, I can hear it in my head and it makes me just, oh. Waste Away Gel does have limits. If you have a more advanced algae, cyano, or dino issue, you'll need to knock it back first. And you can use Waste Away Liquid, which is much more concentrated and designed to combat bad outbreaks, and then use Waste Away Gel to maintain that clean, lower nutrient environment. If you're using Kato or an algae turf scrubber, Waste Away Gel will likely slow down its growth to some degree, but should not be able to outcompete it, especially if you're also running a protein skimmer since the skimmer will always be pulling out some of the Waste Away bacteria. The bacteria in Waste Away can also consume and break down nutrients that algae like Kato are unable to, so using Waste Away alongside a refugium or an algae filter definitely has its perks. There are lots of options out there for beating common algal issues in our tanks that approach it from a more natural and holistic point of view. They do take longer to get the job done, often many weeks, but nothing good in a reef tank happens fast. And the results are often lasting instead of an overnight improvement only to end up back at square one. If you wanna see how these kinds of products perform given the time, check out Randy's Investigates right here on Vibrant. It's a really interesting look at how these kinds of products can perform. And I was really surprised by the results, if I'm being perfectly honest. It's not exactly what I was expecting. Although I wasn't exactly sure what I was expecting. It was very interesting. <laughs>